somebody once asked Abdul Baha, what is the devil? And of course, this is a question of great concern, especially to Muslims and Christians, because this figure of the devil appears so prominently in the Christian and Islamic scriptures. And Abdul Baha gave a very sharp and I would say psychologically sound answer in response to this question of what is this, uh, this mysterious troublemaking figure that many of the world's religions have told us affects us in our lives. He said three words, the insistent self. And I think that uh, this little phrase, the insistent self, is a really useful, a very practical uh, description of the meaning of uh, this figure, the devil, because I think that it's something, it's a, it's a notion that we can all relate to. You know, whatever our beliefs might be about the nature of good and evil, I think that we can all recognize that there is a part of us, of the, there's a part of, of being human uh, that wants to um, get what it wants and take what it wants and insist on this and that and the other, even at the cost of the well-being of other people and sometimes even at the cost of our own well-being in the long run. And, um, you know, just as the saying goes that the, uh, the greatest trick that the devil ever played was to convince the world that he didn't exist, I think this, the same thing can, can be said of uh, the insistent self, you know, the ego, because I think it's often those times in life when we, um, you know, <laughs> we ignore uh, the schemings of our own insistent self uh, or pretend that it doesn't exist. Those are the times when it really creeps up and, and gets us and really causes big trouble in our lives. So uh, I was thinking that, you know, if the insistent self, this devil that lurks around our lives, is the part of us that, that is essentially willing to sacrifice the higher things in favour of the lower things, to sacrifice the, the, the long term for the short term gains, if that's the devil, if that's the insistent self, then I think that that other part of us, our higher nature, the more noble part of us that we also all have within us, uh, perhaps our true selves, our true higher noble nature, is by contrast that part of us that is willing to sacrifice the lower for the higher and the short term for the long term and the temporary for the eternal. I think our higher nature is that part of us that, that ultimately knows what is really best for us and ultimately leads us to true happiness. Hi there, I'm doing these short videos throughout 2021 in honour of the centenary of the passing of Abdul Baha, whose writings are the basis of my new album Home of Light, which is coming out one song at a time throughout the year. All these short stories come from this book, Vignettes from the Life of Abdul Baha, by Anna Marie Honnold, and I hope these little anecdotes give us some glimpses into Abdul Baha's life during this special year. Also, if you'd like a copy of the album, since Home of Light has been made through the support of so many friends around the world, I've decided to give it away as a gift on behalf of everybody who helped to make it. So if you'd like to receive the album, you can sign up at my website, lukeslop.com. It's linked in the description below. And in November, prior to the centenary itself, you'll receive the album as a gift in celebration of Abdul Baha's life. So I appreciate if you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you'd like to hear the story behind the album, you can check out my podcast, A Story of Light, also linked in the description below.